So guys, what we are going to do today is, today we are going to practice all the questions that we have prepped since the last four days, okay? We are going to try solving them, each of them. Try answering as much as possible, guys, because today, uh, by the end of this, we are also having a practice session, right? Like, this is a practice session. So we'll, have, we'll practice all the kinds of questions which we have discussed, that is, all the listening and writing kind of questions. And then we can start. A, uh, we can have a fresh start from Monday to discuss the reading and the speaking questions. Cool. Yes. Let's go. Ahead. So, if you remember, on Monday we have discussed read and complete, read and select. On Tuesday we discussed listen and type and listen and respond. Okay. And on Wednesday we discussed summarize the conversation and write about the photo. Yesterday we discussed about read then write and write and sound. Okay. Today, we will be trying to solve all types of questions, one each or two each, based upon the time possible. And I would suggest you all to try writing as much as possible. Okay, come on, let's go. Uh, this is your first question, guys. Let's go by solving one after the other. Okay. So, yeah, now you remember this read and complete, right? I'll just give you a just before starting off. All you have to do is you have to read through the passage, try filling up the blanks. Make sure that the words that you fit in fill up these plans. Okay, cool. Let's start this. Start dropping the messages in the group. Okay. And I want you. Okay, sorry, my bad. And I want you guys to uh, start dropping one after the other. Okay, first let's go with. First answer, what would be the first one? Okay, some trees. Okay, Sairam says it's ease. Okay, uh, Ganashri says ease. Cool. cool. Okay, cool, guys. What could be the second one? It is about YO dash 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 Americans. What could be this YO dash 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 young? Jodhika says young. Feels right. Ganashri says young. Sairam says young. Any others? Anybody else wants to try? Okay. Sairam, let's go slow. Okay. One after the other. Uh, third one, guys. Young Americans. It is about young Americans. I, okay. In Europe, AF dash dash dash. What is it? After, okay. Okay. After, okay. Europe. After World War One, okay, the W dash dash has had, okay, the W dash dash had D S T, okay, D S T dash 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 dash. Can the five dashes try filling the right word? Okay, people are saying war. The war had best. You're saying war. What could war do? What could be the next word? No. Ganashri, we have five word, five letters, and you filled four. Okay, destroy, guys. See number of blanks. Okay, we have five blanks there. Uh, yeah, I see Jitender and Sairam's answer, which is destroyed, is filling it properly. Jyotika and Hari Krishna, you are almost right, but try to fill up the blanks with the word. Okay, destroyed. Okay, the war had destroyed their D R E dash 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 dreams. Jyotika says dreams. Ma, did you? Sorry, guys. Their dreams and and had. Okay. So the war had destroyed their dreams and had, had, had or has, the war had destroyed their dreams and has or had, guys. Okay, let's see the answer later. Then I'll give you the explanation. Okay, cool. The war had destroyed their dreams and had given. You went th dash dash. Okay, feeling right. 
them given them nothing t dash what could this be this is easy yeah nothing to replace replace there good 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 i see everybody is in flow today okay uh great so the writer get through stay in later call these people members of the lost generation okay good work guys good work let's see the answer it says he is young okay in europe after world war 1 the war had destroyed their dreams and has given has say they say it has okay and has given them has because it's plural right and has given them nothing to replace those dreams here we are wrong okay there also seems right but yeah this is the answer cool now let's go to the next one so here what i'll, I'll tell you what we are supposed to do this is called read and select and you have to just go through each word and see what are the real words correct words correct spellings okay let's just go one after the other and you people just tell me yes or no okay uh, why for yes and no for sorry let's do this one for yes and zero for no so swave is w a v e is it a real word cool for manly for manly for manly okay yeah even i feel it's not a real word hobbyian hobbyian okay hari krishna is double zero cool okay Come on, guys. Yes. Read time. Read time. Hari Krishna. Think. Have you heard of any word okay. called read time? Okay. Others say that it doesn't exist. And frame. Frame. Yeah. Frame is a real word. And missy very. Missy very. Cool. Seems not like a real word. G learn, G learn. Okay. Vary, Vary. Okay. Fancy only. It's like they are hardly real words here. Okay. Registration. Okay. Siram says one. Hari Krishna. Then Raj. Then Shunku. uh usiral usiral no inside what's the real spelling of inside guys this is wrong right yeah chender chender okay disabled disabled okay we plus saying it's right sharp okay cool cool Levi Duent. Levi Duent. No, right? Spility. Spility. Now, listener. Listener. Okay. Cool. Cool. Now, uh, let's see. These are the right answers. Frame, registration, disable, sharp, listener. Cool. We all did the right job. Okay, let's go for the third question. Sanya, can you please share the link in the audio? Okay, guys, here what you are supposed to do is you have to listen to the audio in your devices and try typing exactly what you are hearing. Pay attention to the spellings, pay attention to the punctuations, and make sure you write it with all the proper grammar. Okay, cool. Go for it. You will get only one minute for this.
you try hearing to the audio guys start typing come on many large university institutions are now offering free online courses okay so jipendra everything seems right even the spelling seems right but my only suggestion would be to make sure that your starting letter p capital m n should have a full stop okay rest everything is perfect okay okay let me look at everybody's answers okay hari krishna you're missing an r uh, so many large institutions are now offer uh, wait let's check the answer guys oh so hari krishna this little improvement that you should be doing institutions are now starting to offer guys a lot of people have done a small mistake here you people are missing few words ganeshri you have missed few words here right the starting word is missing here okay so that's why you have to always listen to the audio guys after writing check the audio once again to make sure you have completely written all the things that you have seen good okay now let's go to the next question so write about a photo okay i'll give you a quick overview of how we write about a photo you usually write about what's happening in the picture okay you give a description about what's happening in the picture you can talk about you always use you always try to introduce the picture with how the picture depicts or the image shows okay and then you talk about uh, what are the actions that are happening inside the picture you can try uh, describing the surroundings in the picture you can also make some assumptions uh, what about what is happening in the picture okay come on you will usually get 3 minutes so i'll give you 3 minutes okay let's go for it and try writing cool make sure that make sure that you write completely okay you don't have to send me sentence by sentence write everything up so what is happening like you know the tiniest of details okay you worked on this guys so this question is going to repeat more than like three times minimum in the examination and i've given you format and how to write how to use prepositional twist in everything to this so try finding detail okay the more you look into the picture the more you will find things guys whoever is on the call and not answering i would suggest you guys to try taking part okay on guys you're left with one more minute and by this time you should be able to complete your answer and check it for grammar and punctuation yes come on come on post it soon okay in this picture there is a train where some people are getting off from okay there is a train where some people are getting off from while there is a there is a woman okay after from you need to add a, a comma hari krishna okay 
while there is a woman in the foreground of the image walking towards the train cool cool you can also add in the last some speculation okay otherwise great just make sure that your commas are good okay it's always a man or a woman okay come on guys others post your answers soon okay sairam says the, the picture shows a beautiful metro station where the train has just arrived and a man wearing a black jacket is just getting off the train moreover the metro train is heading towards the brooklyn bridge okay? good good sairam good one okay you can also guys add towards add the tiny details such as you know uh, so the train number uh, is 1804 the train the, uh, okay and uh, uh, it is in the 125 street so you can use all this stuff for tiny detailing okay cool any other any other answers i'll move on to the next question then cool so here is a sample example a uh, sample answer this picture depicts a number of people getting in and off an underground train okay did you try, uh, see here is a speculation and also they consider this an underground train okay uh, there is a sign board informing where the train will be traveling moreover there's another sign about the street number the station is on okay cool now write about the topic describe your favorite teacher and what qualities do you respect most okay so this is a la long topic we'll come back to this question in the last okay we'll go back to this we'll have one more flow of questions and then we'll get back to it okay come on guys let's do quick uh, because this question you will be getting at least 6 to 7 times in the examination okay let's try solving this come on physical exercise is recommended for the management of mild depression and has a moderate eff dash 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 okay i c effect moderate effect on moderate effect on s y m p dash 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 uh yes okay okay everybody says symptoms please okay cool it is equivalent it is equivalent to the what is it to the u dash dash oh yes to the use of guys make sure you are filling up all the blanks number of blanks are 6 here come on medications okay or try 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 this try just try guys medications or okay great Psycho L O G I C A L. Great. Good uh, answer, guys. Psychological therapies. F dash dash. For most people. Cool. Okay. Do you if you see here this psychological and medication symptoms. these all are your content so in this particular question if you see there are more of your content blanks more than your grammar blanks okay so there could be this kind of questions too now let's go for the next one see all right effort symptoms it is equivalent to the use of medications or psychological therapies for most people good 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 work guys let's quickly do this okay again same zeros and ones wipe w i p wipe 
Okay. Cool. Faint. F A I N T. Faint. Cool. Uh, what? Siram. This type one or zero. Bradley. Bradley. Oh, uh, Bradley. Okay. Yeah. Bradley. Cool. A lot of people are unsure about it. Cool. Guys, answer it. We'll figure it out. Come on. Try. Educational. Educational. Educational is a real word, guys. Okay. Face. Face. Cool. Calmly. Calmly. Cool. Candidate. Candidate. Okay. Functional. Functional. Okay. Cow right. Cow right. Okay. 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 Investigation. Outspect. Outspect. Guys, seriously? Thing, thing. Jeep. Jeep. Jeep, Jeep. Gan Ganeshri, Ganeshri. I don't know what your answer is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think J, it is J W E P. I I don't know. Let's see. Layer. Revision. Revision. Okay. Uh, so people are saying it's right. Right. What's revision spelling? R I V I S I O N. Right. Yeah. Bees. Have you heard of it? Like, did you ever write this in your No. Right. Evidently. Evidently. Okay. Overtake. 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 String. String. Okay. So, guys, here, if I have to tell you briefly, the wrong answers are the scholar, outspect, jeep, bees, revision. That's all, I guess. Breakly. No. Yeah. See? Breakly, correct, revision, bees, outspect. So, guys, you know, uh, don't get confused when you are. As I told you, if you're confident about it, you're confident. If you're doubtful because you never heard about it, then don't select it. Okay? Cool. Now, quickly write about this photo, guys. Quickly. Just two sentences. Whoever did not write in the previous picture, try writing this. This is a very important topic and you will be scored. This is a major writing task and uh, most of your scoring will be on this. One, try. One. Yeah, 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 come on. Just try writing about it. Try observing clearly what's happening in the background. Okay, the man is talking on a phone. PJ. PJ. Okay. What else? Describe the whole, like at least it's a two to three sentence after we be right, Jitendra. Imagine you are describing the picture to a person who can't see. Okay. How would you describe it? That would be the best kind of answer possible, which will help you score. Okay. 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 okay no worries.
come on guys you guys have one more minute One. Okay, Ganshi says the picture depicts an accident which has occurred between the two cars. The man on the right is on trial. Mostly one of the cars belongs to him. Good one, Ganeshri. Very good, very good. Any other answers, guys? Good one. You people are getting the hang of how to, you know, uh, right? Ganeshri, you have covered all the three aspects of the question where you talk about the introduction of the picture, then you talk about the things that is happening, and you gave an observation. Cool. Let's go for the next one, guys. So the answer for this one is the picture shows a man calling on him. The background shows two cars colliding with each other. This person seems to be owner of one of the cars in the accident and he might be calling the police. This item is an answer. The picture depicts an accident that happened in the middle of the road and the man was calling for an evacuation team with his black mobile for help regarding the breakdown of his vehicle. And in addition to that, he's wearing blue and white shirt shirt. Sairam, this is a great sentence, but try breaking it down to two or three sentences because now this is a single huge sentence. Okay. And here, this little small confusion I, I have here it says, help regarding the breakdown of his vehicle. Or you could, uh, so help regarding the vehicle would have done. This is a little confusing me. Otherwise, it's great. Okay. Just try breaking down the sentence into at least two. Okay. Great. Let's go ahead, guys. Now, uh, Sanya, can you please share the audio? Yeah. Come on, guys, try listening to it and try writing it. Come on. Guys, last few seconds. Okay, guys, I'm moving forward. Let's see the answer. Cultural globalization refers to the transmission of ideas, meanings, and values around the world. You can still post your answer and check your answers if you haven't posted, because this could be a little confusing and huge sentence, right? So cultural globalization. So words like this, because you're going to get this question at least three to more times. You have to focus on spellings in this case. Okay, Listen to the audio only three times. Cultural globalization refers to the transmission of ideas, meanings, and values around the world. Guys, when it's the tough question, you are avoiding answering. I want you to try answering the toughest ones, especially so that you can correct yourself. Okay. Now, now we are going to do the interactive listening. Okay. So, interactive listening, I'll just give you a gist about how we usually do this, how it happens. A scenario is given to you based on that this scenario is usually between you and a professor or you and a student, OK? And based on the scenario, you will be uh, starting the conversation. And uh, the conversation from the other person will be in the format of an audio. And uh, you have to choose your response from the given multiple choice questions, OK? In the, in the last, you will be asked to give 
a summary of your conversation cool this is going to appear twice in your examination let's go so what is your scenario you and your friend are both trying to decide if you should register for an online class taught by a professor who is known to be quite difficult okay you and your friend are both trying to decide if you should register for an online class taught by a professor who is known to be quite difficult okay now pick the best option to start the conversation i always told you the first point of starting the conversation will be in the scenario itself now try answering guys Come on. Come on, guys. Try. Okay. Ganeshri says two. Even I think it's two. Because the scenario says. You and your friend are already considering going to Professor Professor Smith class. So here you just are starting the conversation, asking if they have finally decided or not, right? So let's see the answer. Yes, second one is the right answer. Okay, so you're saying, hey, have you decided if you are going to register for the online class that taught by Professor Smith? Okay. Now, Sanya, can you please share the audio? Yeah. Guys, this is a huge uh, question, and it's a highly scored question. Listen to the audio, and based on that, try giving your response. I am safe. It's fine. Okay, okay. Let's check the answer. Okay, Jitendra says it's two. Any other answer, guys? Go on, try, try relating. Your response should be a proper response for the audio. Ganesh says three. Everybody gave a different answer. Let's check. Okay. So, Professor, your friend says, of course. What's on your mind? And the answer is. uh that's true it could be a great opportunity to learn and improve my skills so none of your answer is right guys okay so the previous conversation was like hey have you decided if you're going to register for the online class taught by professor smith okay it says of course what's on your mind okay so the best response could be that's true it could be so this your friend has you know uh consider he has finalized he has made up his mind to attend the classes in your response is okay that's true it could be a great opportunity to learn and improve my skills okay but i'm not sure why this doesn't match but let's see please go to the next audio Want try listening to it and answer. Guys, come on. Then this is three. Let's see. Okay, so the audio says, "Sure thing." Can you explain how you approach the project and what you think your weaknesses were? Okay, so guys, there's little mishap here. Okay, we will skip this for now. The answers and questions are not 
matching purely. Okay. And uh, so, okay, cool. What we'll do, we will get to the previous question that we were talking about, which would be this question, which was right about the topic. You will get uh, these questions to practice more in the handouts. And we're also running out on time. So we'll just quickly skip to the right about the topic, which is describe your favorite teacher. What qualities did you respect most? OK. Uh, so yesterday, we have discussed this how to write. First, you introduce it. And then you talk about uh, two main qualities or two main points and try explaining them in detail. And then you do a conclusion. Okay, you will be given five minutes to write this, and I'll give you quick three minutes here because we are already running out of time. Try writing, and then uh, we'll wind this up. Cool. Uh, try writing so that okay. First, let's all of us together only write. Let's write the introduction statement. Then we'll correct it, and then we'll go for the digging deeper part. Okay, come on, guys. Write the introduction to this. Okay, first tell me which kind of question is this. Is this a describe kind of question or a recount kind of question or uh, an argument kind of question? What do you guys think? What do you remember? Hare Krishna says describe. OK. And anybody else? Cool. OK. OK, guys, come on. Let's write the introduction. Yes, Hare Krishna, it is completely a describe kind of question. No. Sorry, it is a recount kind of question. See, you are. It is about your uh, favorite teacher, right? It's not described. It's about recount. It is your experience, your favorite teacher, and uh, how you are gonna explain about those qualities, right? Okay. Cool. Now start writing. Write about the introduction. Come on. Cool, guys. We have one more minute. Okay. Now we will head to the answer in the next few seconds. So, okay, here is the answer, which is over the years. I have attended many classes and had different types of teachers. Okay, here this is our introduction line. And then we wrote one teacher who stands out in my mind as the best teacher I have ever had was my high school teacher, history teacher. He was extremely compassionate and would hold study sessions before tests to help students who may have been struggling during a unit. His lectures were engaging, and he kept the students' grip with intrigue as he taught. Furthermore, he always made sure that there were hands-on projects to help us further understand the material. I remember one time we were learning about the House of Representatives and the Senate, so he turned the classroom into Congress to help us understand how it worked. I still think about the project every time I hear about politics in America today. So if you see here, he the kind of language that is used, OK? It is telling the command on English. If you clearly see, he was extremely compassionate, OK? And uh, the students gripped. Furthermore, the smooth flow of the paragraphs, OK? Hands-on experience. And then there was also an example how the teacher has taught. Though it is a single example, there were two examples, if you see. Here, uh, how he used to conduct uh, some, uh, you know, help students before the examinations and also the way of teaching uh, by conducting a house of representatives. Okay, this is the best way to write. And the last concluding statement was, he was so dedicated to make sure his students found success. That's why he's my favorite teacher. Cool. Great work, guys. 
and uh, i hope you all got a chance to practice all the questions that we have discussed this week and next monday we will be starting the uh, reading and speaking okay we have quite a few reading questions and speaking questions speaking is uh, a little same as writing but you are expected to do a little more okay because uh, in a in a short span we can speak more when compared to how much you can write okay and uh, you are you have almost covered 50% of the syllabus make sure that you be present the next week too to complete the syllabus and then you are ready to go okay cool guys uh, any doubts that I, uh, that i should be answering please drop please let us know any doubts guys no doubts okay uh sanya you can take it 